Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Nander, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to um, re-enable internet tethering on your iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS with the latest firmware 3.1.2. Um, these hacks have been available for a few days now, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get tethering working again on your iPhone. The first thing you have to do is visit the iPhone Dev Team's blog, which is actually a separate wiki, and I'll go ahead and have a link on that on the, uh, on the description. And from there you're going to go ahead and click um, a, a, a comp center patch file. This is just a small file that you're going to download because um, um, the dev team can't share um, official files from Apple, but they can share the little patch files that you're going to go ahead and write with. So I'm going to go ahead and click the one for the 3GS, and you're going to get this file called compcenter.patch. So what you're going to go ahead and do now is you're going to have to take the comp center file from your uh, iPhone file system. You're going to have to copy it to your Mac. And you're going to do the patching via terminal in just one easy step. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to launch DiskAid, which is the software I use to gather files from the um, iPhone. And the folder you're going to go ahead and go to is from the root system library private frameworks core telephony dot framework support and then finally the comp center file will be available there. What you're going to go ahead and do is let me just move this aside here. What you're going to go ahead and do is actually copy that comp center to your desktop. So I'll go ahead and do so right there. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and drop the file there to the desktop. This comp center patch file, I'm going to go ahead and do show and finder from here. I'm also going to place that file on the desktop. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave this gate open for this. Next thing you're going to do is launch a terminal window. There's a simple window. And you're not going to SSH into your phone or anything just yet. You're going to have to write this command. Or you can actually copy it from the dev team wiki. So that command is... I'm going to type it out for you guys so I can say it verbally. But you can also copy and paste it. Either way, whatever you want to do. BS patch space com center. Okay, first thing you have to do, I'm sorry. You, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log into the desktop folder, CD desktop, and that's where I have my files. So, BS patch, this is only available in Mac OS 10 Leopard and Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard. So, if you're not on Mac, you're going to have to go ahead and get this file from someone else. So, um, the way I'm going to go ahead and do this is um, for those of you Windows users out there, for those of you who cannot. Um, can get have a Mac in your hand so you can do the patch. I'm, I'll have a link to the description to a blog at gumballtech.com. They have um, files there for both the 3G and the 3GS. And um, if you're one of those users, you can go ahead and skip this step. I'll probably have like a little um, link to uh, the minute and time where I start talking about how to do the modifications and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do comp center. Then you're gonna do space comp center dash hacked and the space one more time you're going to do consider that patch. So what BS patch is going to do is it's going to read the contents of the patch file to com center and then it's going to go ahead and make the hacked one for you. It does it in one step. Go back to the desktop. And there we go. So now we have the this is the original com center that's unhacked, then we have the new one that's hacked. You might want to keep the original one for backup just in case something goes wrong. You can delete the patch file already, but I'm going to go ahead and name this one com center original. And the other one, I'm going to name it just Com Center. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to drop that file back into Discade. I already did this to me, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. And next thing you have to do is you're going to have to um, set the permissions for the file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that next. You're going to require iFile on your iPhone, which is available in Cydia. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, this step only works on a jailbroken iPhone, as you can tell, because you do need access to the root file system, and you're going to need a couple of applications. I'm going to go to the iFile app, and in this app, I'm going to go ahead and link to the folder where everything is, of course, system, library, private frameworks, core telephony dot framework, support and then finally um, com center. I'm going to tap on the arrow and I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down to where it says permissions. Um, make sure you have those permissions set up 
um, there is no um, way here where I can actually set a number. I might be wrong. So I'm going to leave it there for a few seconds so you guys can just pause the video if you guys want. Those are the access permissions you're going to need in order for C, um, in order for a comm center to work correctly. Once you already got that done, quit iFile and um, go ahead and reboot your iPhone. Once you reboot it, um, it should go back. The next step, the next thing you have to do, of course, you can go to settings, general, network, and internet tethering should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, you have to follow this extra step. You're going to open Safari, and you're going to go to the website help.benum, B-E-N-M dot A-T. You're going to go in there to their mobile site, and from down here, I think a lot of you already know about this website, you're going to download the mobile configuration Hi. file for your carrier, in this case I'm AT&T, just install a profile, and then you should get internet tethering to show up under the setting. If it hasn't, that means you probably did something wrong, maybe you forgot to um, place the hacked comp center file, go ahead and go back to the steps in this video. But other than that, that's how you get internet tethering working. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on for you guys, just to um, verify that it is working. Of course I am, you know, using the internet for my Wi-Fi connection, so I don't really need to use this yet. But of course it is indeed working. I can use USB only. I'm gonna probably turn blue right now, meaning it's tethering to my laptop, even though I'm already I already have Wi-Fi in there. So there you go guys, internet tethering is working. You can see it flashing. I'm gonna turn it off because I really don't need it right now. And of course, um, it's your responsibility to be careful of how you use tethering on your iPhone, I mean, I'm sorry, on your laptop or whatever computer you're going to use it on because, you know, AT&T might catch you and for, for unauthorized tethering. So be careful what you t of what you use and, you know, surf lightly on the web, just surf a couple of stuff daily and you'll be fine. But other than that, that's how you can enable tethering on your iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS. Again, for those of you who are on the Windows operating system or on Linux, don't have access to a Mac, I'll have a link to a blog where those files are already readily available. In fact, the 3GS comp center file actually does come from me. So, you know, I thank you guys for whoever, um, I'm sorry, whoever um, gets to use that file, go ahead, just don't forget to thank me and stuff. And on one last note, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash alanander. If you like the, the, what content you just see, go ahead and subscribe to me. Um, rate this video, comment, favorite, do whatever you can, guys. And, um, other than that, that's internet tethering for you on the latest iPhone from Mercury 1.2, of course, for jailbroken devices. And, of course, if you need help jailbreaking your, your phone or iPod, I do have previous videos. Go ahead and check those out. But other than that, that's pretty much it for today, guys. We'll see you guys later. Peace.